Are you new or what? <laughs> ah, are you new or what? You have to back up, Chupta. <laughs> no, I didn't see you. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Where is he at? Can't be by your bed. Your yeah, I know. She's not here anymore. It's crazy. So what happened? With Leo? Yeah. Is oh, she good? He's, he's been is she trying good? to change his starter motor for four days now. He got a new Bosch. Oh, his Beamer or what? Yeah, he got a <laughs> remanufactured one. It oh. didn't work. And then he Did he actually test it first before putting it in? No, he just got a Bosch one uh, and it's still not working. So he's thinking that it's something wrong with the flywheel. Like it's not spinning on the starter. Oh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. He, he was asking me if I had like a half inch drive to a three fourths adapter because he needs mm -hmm. it for the crank. Yeah. To the crank. But we'll figure I it out. Tools. I didn't bring anything with me. This place always scares me because of deer. Oh yeah, I know. Drive with caution. Look at this, Yakubovich. Uh, he's been working on the BMW. What's up, Yakubovich? Uh, My man. Hello. What's up? Hello. How you doing? I got a, I got something for you. I got a camera. What are you working on, bro? Uh, this junk over here. That the I BMW. Love. Man, yeah. we love old cars, huh? Yes, sir. We're all one family. Well, I guess we came here to rescue, you know? Yeah, for real. Stuff like that. So, <laughs> let's go check it out, bro. Did you just have that starter on the block when you had it on the video? Well, I had it like resting on a resting on the one like a sway bar, but it wasn't a bear on open metal though. So that's so the starter. So this is why it was sparking because the starter the has to be a uh, good it has to have a good contact because the starter itself is grounded through the engine block when yeah. you bolt it up. So when you were resting it like on just piece of metal, you know there's a lot of voltage going to that starter. It's gonna spark. Mm -hmm. It's not making good contact. You know, so that has nothing. That has nothing car? to do. That video has nothing to do with uh, you know whatever when problem I, you have. When I first when I first put it in my car, it did like nothing. It just made a <laughs> like a. <laughs> so that could be uh, again. It's a reman uh, reman starter. Some of the starters can be defective. You know. Yeah. So, so I, you don't, I don't know. Have that one. I have an OEM brand new box. Okay. So right now. It's not even. Now it's not even. Now it's just like, and that's it. So right now, what you need to do, you do you have jumper cables? Yeah. Okay, you will have to take the starter out so we can bench test it right now. Can we first just try to jump it if you still have everything connected in? I did. I'd already tried that. I tried doing the. I tried jumping the actual starter itself. Didn't work. I tried jumping the car to get more power to the car. It didn't work. Um, no difference. And uh, do you have a multimeter? I do not. You do not. I wish. Fuck. So okay, that's fine. Just uh, let me look in there. Is it uh, is the starter still like sitting on the sway bar no, or whatever? It's, it's, it's on. It's you took it out. Yeah. Oh, it's bolted up. Yeah. Oh wait, you put everything back already? Well, when you were tech, when you guys were texting, you didn't put it back in. See if like the teeth were like attaching to the flywheel or something like that. Something weird. I don't know. So and it just felt. The that's the old one. Yeah. You have jumper cables? Um. Yeah. In my. Let me see your jumper cables. Yeah, just put it on the ground. Make sure the terminals are tight. That can be the problem. <laughs> Even though they're on, that they have to be tight actually, because sometimes they won't make good contact. Try that first. And maybe you'll be lucky tonight. Yeah, do it, Antonio. Show him. Ah. All right, try it now. It's a long shot, bro. Hey, you don't know. Start with the basics, you know. Nothing. 
The lights still come on though, right? Yeah. On the dash. It's probably been here since the last time you were. Yeah. Yeah, make sure those wires on the starter are tight. And then we'll, we'll retry this test again. We'll give it power directly to these cranking wires to go to the starter and see if it cranks. Do you need to go get underneath to get to it? Uh, very good. Jeez. And we checked all the wires. Just check it up, bro. Check just uh, up. just tighten it like with the no, with the it tool. Up. Check it up. Be okay, five hours later, here's the update. So <laughs> we figured out that this original starter is actually good. <laughs> and what was wrong with it is this nut was loose on it. Yeah, I'm a nut. Yeah. He's good, he's good. So he's changing, he's taking out that old, uh, the new starter. We're gonna install this starter back on. Tell him why I'm taking out the new starter. Yeah, he's taking out the new starter. And the new starter has an issue where this is actually loose, this ground wire. Jeez. Where's my focus? You lack focus. I can't focus, man. So yeah, the new starter has this wire that's loose. You can just literally take that wire out. So, um, and then the problem with this old starter is that this nut was loose. That's why he was having issues with starting. So he's gonna take out the new starter, install this original starter back on, and we'll retry it. The new new starter. Yeah. But the old is gold, so he's gonna reinstall this starter back on. It was on the car. That's why you never throw For 30 away years. Parts. For 30 years, yeah. Literally. OEM parts are better than anything. Yeah, OEM, the best. Right? Normally you're so quick to just throw out parts as soon as you're done with them. Yeah. I never do. I always... It's good, you know, you could have... Let's say if you had this old starter, you could just keep it and then, uh, you know, maybe rebuild it or something, you know? Or if you're bored... I've never replaced a starter. This is the first fucking... Yeah. Usually these starters are good. I mean, I don't know if they go out. Yeah, these are known to prematurely fail. Like, these starters are pretty good. Yeah. One eternity later. Here's the new starter. There's a Bosch starter. And this is what's wrong. You see this wire? It's just flopping around. It's not attached. Where's the seal? The seal is underneath. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're still gonna install it. Yeah. I, we had to take the seal out to see how what's in there. But this thing initially was just loose in there, so not good. Yeah, it should be attached down there, but it's not. Move it. Look at that. So, the big man, Leonid, is installing the old starter back right now. We're about to test this thing. So, we installed the starter, but uh, it's just, uh, it's doing the same thing. It just doesn't crank the engine. It shoots. It started pinion gear shoots out, but it just gets stuck. So then we remove the fan clutch and we try to turn the crankshaft pulley. And uh, we didn't have proper tools, but we still tried to crank it. And I used a big pipe wrench on it and didn't want to budge. But uh, you know, hopefully Leo gets um, proper tools in a couple of days, so he can actually try to uh, manually move the crankshaft hopefully it's not locked up because um, whenever you try to start the engine there's just like sparks and like the, the wires get hot and stuff because the power has nowhere else to go and it's not trying to crank the engine but we tested the starter on the bench and it was good 
So this is pretty mind blowing and he just said that uh, when he was driving that it just, uh, and the car was running rough a little because of the vacuum leak but uh, and then it shut off and then he was never able to actually restart it. It would just not crank. It would just just click or try to try to crank but it wouldn't crank at all. Um, so uh, ever since then we're trying to figure this out. But hopefully the engine is uh, still good. So he will get proper tools soon and he will try to um, uh, see whether the engine is locked up or not.